It's fun and vulgar, and that's just me. Would you like to hear a joke? But I warn you, it's a real, it's a real killer. Oh, start it over. I lost it. You get, you get it. I'm beginning to think you are our enemy. That you and your straight world are our enemy. I'm furious with you. And with, my, and with myself and with every goddamn doctor who ever told me I was sick and interfered for loving a man. I'm trying to understand why nobody wants to help us, why my own brother doesn't want to help me. You know, you, you spent two million dollars on this house and we can't even get 25 cents from the city. You still think I'm sick. And I simply cannot allow that any longer. I will not speak to you until you learn to respect me as your equal, your healthy equal. Your brother. Look over there. Look over there! Look over there. You try so hard to be my friend again. Every which way, but it doesn't work like that. What you did really put a wedge between us. I would say split, but you and I have way too much history. We've known each other for way too many years. So as far as letting you back into my life, it'll only go to a certain point. And past that, you're not allowed to go any further. Every time I speak to you on any level makes me feel like I'm lying to myself because I really don't care that much about you anymore. Sure, sometimes I miss you. I miss us and what we had, the memories and all the laughs. But then I think about what you did. I could never trust you again. And if I choose to let you back into my life, I could never forget what you did. And I can't live that way. I guess we, I messed that up, I skipped a line. I do that over, I'm Good sorry. Start. Look over there. Look over there. <laughs> no, picked up the razor at 14 and Never looked back. Mom never wanted me to learn how to shave on my own, but I assumed it was because she didn't want me to grow up. I know now she wanted me to wait for you. But you never had time. That's what you always said, right? You never had time for me. So I said, fuck it, and I shaved on my own. First time wasn't too bad, minor irritation, but I got through it. Second time, got a few bumps that started to form, a lot quicker than I could pop them, but I lived. Around the third time, it was like steel coming out of my pores. It was so bad that I actually stayed up all night because of the pain. <laughs> and you know what, I actually, 
I blamed you. I honestly thought this was just all caused by you because just like the bumps and just like the pain, they always came back. They were always there under the surface. But you know what? I taught myself how to shave and I became my own man without you. And I'm gonna keep going on without you. I'll be damned if I ever need you again. Donde esta? Where is Swiper? You see Swiper? Where? Over there! Look over there? Yeah! Look over there? Yeah! <laughs> oh man. <laughs>